Hey guys, Philip Atrey Genius. How's everybody doing? Um, wanted to talk to you about forks and Bitcoin and chain splits and kind of just separate what's what. Um, there's been a lot of chatter about upcoming forks with Bitcoin. We've already been through one with Bitcoin Cash. And so I just kind of wanted to go through that with you guys so you guys have a real clear understanding of um, what's going to happen with the upcoming forks and what would constitute a chain split and uh, what you should do with your bitcoins okay um, before we get into that though i wanted to do kind of a quick plug um, if you go to tradegeniusacademy.com uh, we have a special running uh, we use promo code october and what that will get you is our full crypto course lessons one through seven and that'll include one year subscription to our crypto trading room, which we also do our binary option trades, which are the high probability uh, Forex entries. So, and we're gonna throw in our new uh, day trading uh, signal for cryptos uh, for the rest of the year. And that's uh, compatible with TradingView. So uh, click on, if you click on that course, that's gonna take you to where you can add it to the cart click on that and then uh, view cart and what you want to do is put in the october code apply that and what that's going to do is give you half off and we'll make that quantity of one and that will give you the 399.50 price for the package um, I think the room alone is worth that 24-7 uh, room guys are in it all the time and we're constantly talking about the positions and the crypto market and our and our binary entries so uh, check it out just thought I'd let you guys know that's gonna be good to for another couple days and then uh, the special will be uh, done all right so back to forks so um, what I wanted to do was kind of just go over uh, you know, what's the difference between uh, a fork and a chain split? So if we go back to Bitcoin Cash, okay, <clears throat> that was basically a bunch of, not a bunch, but a few of the miners, a few of the crowd said, you know what, they didn't like the fact that the user activated soft fork or the SegWit soft fork went the way it did. They said, we're going to create Bitcoin Cash. And mainly this was from uh, Bitmain, and they are, uh, if you're not aware of Bitmain, they're a major manufacturer of Bitcoin mining hardware, okay? So they have they, they have a lot of hash power, okay? So they, they have a lot of say on the network. So, but they saw they, they didn't have majority of, as far as the way the SegWit code was being uh, upgraded. So they basically said, we're gonna create this Bitcoin cash and we're going to fork from the main Bitcoin code. Now, at that point, everyone kind of knew that that was just going to be a minority split and it would be an altcoin for all intents and purposes. And, uh, and it was treated as such. Uh, when it first came to the exchanges, it instantly dumped. It came back up. Um, and then it and then it's gradually sold off and what we've now seen is that as it's selling off Bitcoin's going up so you're taking all that market cap that was in Bitcoin cash is coming out of Bitcoin cash going back into Bitcoin so a lot of people made out um, in the room we said that we we had a target of I think it was about 0.22 Bitcoin uh, for Bitcoin cash and recommended everybody get out there I think it went up to about 0.25 on that second run up and then it's just been downhill ever since and I do not recommend any of our guys getting into that I just don't think it's uh, it's really it's not a long-term play um, so that that was kind of like an alt fork now this next one coming up is Bitcoin gold and um, the premise there is that they are trying to get away from um, ASIC mining, which is where all these big mining farms, uh, essentially that's the hardware they use, is very specialized hardware that does these high, these high, these computations at a very fast rate that's required to hash the Bitcoin code and create blocks, solve blocks, which confirms network transactions, and then they get rewarded with uh, Bitcoin. So, but they want to get away from ASIC and they want to do a GPU only type 
mining. So that's why they're creating this Bitcoin gold. Gold just, you know, it's just the name they came up with. It's not related to gold or anything like that. But again, uh, no one looks at Bitcoin gold, even though this is the next upcoming fork around October 25th or so. No one's looking at this as like, you know, a threat to the main Bitcoin coin. So, or the Bitcoin chain. So essentially, this is kind of like an airdrop. And if you're not familiar with that term, basically that's when someone goes ahead and distributes coin based on the amount of, like, say, Bitcoin that you own. Since this is being a fork from the, this fork will be a snapshot. So on October 25th, whoever has X amount of coin or Bitcoin in their wallet will automatically get the same amount of Bitcoin gold. So the way I would do it is I would, uh, if you've got Bitcoin, make sure it's all in one wallet. And when they do that snapshot, you'll have that allocation of Bitcoin gold. Now, they still have to confirm that they have replay protection done in their code or wallets like hardware wallets like Trezor or Ledger likely won't support it until that happens. So um, will they get that done by the 25th? We'll see. But they have some things to work out. So right now it's all up in the air as far as which exchanges and which hardware wallets or software wallets for that matter are going to even support that fork. So we'll see. But if you do get it, then um, you'll have that allocation and then you can either try to keep it if you think it's going to appreciate long term or just dump it and take your uh, Bitcoin equivalent out of that. I think the derivatives on Bitfinex, they are trading a derivative for Bitcoin gold. And I think right now those like future contracts, if you will, are going at about 2.2 to 0.25. OK, so it kind of gives you an idea of what 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 where that's at now. I personally think once uh, they hit exchanges, it's going to dump pretty fast. I kind of leaning to the fact that, or to the, to the idea that it won't have any kind of secondary run up like we saw with Bitcoin Cash. What I do think is going to happen though is you're going to have people, when Bitcoin Cash uh, fork was coming up, or the SegWit, the, the user activated soft fork SegWit issue came up in July, I think it, there was a lot of fear in the market. I think now they see that, you know, forks aren't the end all and the proper thing to do is to be in Bitcoin. So I think now what we're going to see before these forks is we're going to see a run up in Bitcoin price, because if you've got a fork that's going to happen and you're not sure which fork is going to be the main Bitcoin fork, then the safe thing to do is make sure you have all your Bitcoin and then you're going to have both allocations on each chain. All right. The reason why I bring that up, that brings us to what is a hard fork and that's what SegWit 2x is going to be. Again, a hard fork, difference between a hard fork and a soft fork. Soft fork is backwards compatible. So this user activated soft fork on SegWit that happened back in July basically allowed SegWit transactions to take place. But if you didn't upgrade your co your node, um, then you would still be able to interact with the other uh, nodes in the network. It's just that you wouldn't be able to do SegWit transactions unless you upgraded to SegWit compatible code. All right. So it's backwards compatible. That's that's a better way to approach the upgrades. Now, as with these other forks, um, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, and this upcoming SegWit 2X, those are hard forks. They're not going to talk to each other. And that's where you might end up with what they call a chain split. So if you've got two competing um, software or you know two competing codes and you've got a split down the middle, you're going to have two separate chains and then it's a matter of now what's going to be considered Bitcoin? Is it going to be this one or this one? And again, it's a consensus thing, right? This is decentralized, so users vote. So you've got exchanges, you've got um, payment processors, you've got users, and you know they're going to have to determine which one is going to be called Bitcoin. As it stands now, Bitcoin 2x will just probably looks like it's going to be called B2X from the initial support that I, that I see. If a lot of people pull out of the 2X uh, agreement, this was the New York agreement that was made by a lot of the big miners and big players in Bitcoin. Um, if a lot of people p withdraw their support from that, then this the SegWit 2X is probably going to be relegated to an altcoin status like we saw with Bitcoin Cash and this upcoming Bitcoin Gold. If support is split down the middle, then we have a contentious fork and we're going to have to figure out which one's the majority. So my, my uh, recommendation is to get all your Bitcoin together, 
keep it in one spot keep it in a uh, my recommendation is always a hardware wallet like Trezor or ledger and uh when and have it in your possession so when the fork happens and this is going to be about november 18th or so um and we'll do another video as we get closer then you, you're gonna that snapshot's going to allocate you the segwit 2x tokens all right so just make sure you have your coins in your possession uh, i wouldn't recommend having them on exchange unless that exchange explicitly says that if you have it on exchange you'll you'll be allocated the 2x so there's a lot of information that needs to come through to confirm if that's going to happen or not so um i just wanted to clarify that if you got any questions leave them below but again um soft forks are backwards compatible the upcoming fork bitcoin cash bitcoin uh, bitcoin gold and segwit 2x are hard forks they're not going to talk be backwards compatible with our current bitcoin segwit software which is from the bitcoin uh, bitcoin core group all right that's what we're running now that's what's considered bitcoin so possible contentious fork and a split of the chain with segwit 2x but if support falters and uh, people pull out of it then it won't be like i said it'll probably just be an altcoin at the end of the day all right so just kind of wanted to clarify that hear a lot about forking and this and that and uh, at the end of the day bitcoin is bitcoin there's only 21 million bitcoin um, segwit 2x is going to keep that model too so uh, that's not going to change but uh, majority what the majority decides will be bitcoin will be bitcoin and we'll we'll see how that plays out so more videos as we get closer to november 18th but as i say keep your bitcoins together keep them in your possession by november 18th all right guys take care thanks for watching bye bye